Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And today we're gonna be working on the TL. You know, it's sunny right now. Uh, we're gonna be working in the garage. I'm just laying the car park right here because, you know, the Corolla is back inside. Um, yeah, I'm not really too fun with the Corolla. Uh, uh, today we're gonna be working on the front portion of the car, which is this um, panel on the hood that everyone like has mixed feelings about. Like, why is it there? Like, so, so people just paint it to match the hood. Because I personally don't like it when it's like, like that specific color so and it turned out pretty out bad you can see the finish it's really bad so to to make this thing perfect it's all in the preparation so uh, I'll explain it in a little bit once I take this portion off so oh let me grab my key really uh, usually it's just these screws you guys can see it's all in here there's four but mine only has two and it's covered by these rubber uh, little gaskets so it's missing here and missing here so there's only two two nuts holding on to this portion but right. we're gonna be working on that I'll, sh I'll show you guys how to prep it um, and uh, the materials that you need I probably don't have that much material but I'm gonna work my way around it for those who don't really have a, a lot of materials like me. so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint it uh, what you guys should be doing so uh, let's switch off to that scene let's go all right so now that um, that portion's off, and these screws are technically not needed for me. I don't know what this portion is all about, but um, the socket that you need, especially you need this specific size. It's only it's only eight millimeter, and be careful when you guys take it out. It might fall into the engine bay, so you take it out very slowly without having to lose a nut and hear something rattle in the engine. So what we're going to be doing first is just cleaning it up. And then, and then just sanding it down. Um, you can use, you, you're gonna have to use a high grit sandpaper first. And I have it on here. So high grit sandpaper is highly recommended to take off any excess uh, paint underneath. Because what I learned is that preparation is key. You can see the overlays of the old paint on here. And that's my mistake for doing that. So we're going to completely strip down the paint to its bare metal and then we clean from there. Alright, so this finally has been sanded down. Um, this portion of the grill has been, you know, sanded down. So basically, all the silver has been taken off, and you know, most of it can't be taken out. So what? Um, so I left it how it is, and I completely sanded to the smooth alongside with the silver portion. So from the feels of it, it should be okay. So I'm, I'm hoping that the primer can be able to fill it up that portion uh, as long as you add a thick enough layer and then the um, coat should be fine. And the bottom portion of it doesn't really matter too much. If you guys are really into you know, having a perfect grill, then by all means go ahead and do the bottom because the bottom doesn't really matter because it's mainly this portion you see on the car. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So I'm gonna get uh, ready for the paint. I'll explain to you how the paint. All right, here's my bucket of paint. Um, so we have primer and uh, matching color for the car. This is B92P, and this is what I'm gonna be using for it. And the reason why I'm doing that is instead of painting black, because I just want to match the head. So um, for spraying primer is gonna be a lot uh, quicker compared to uh, this version, not the actual paint, because primer dries up a lot quicker than the original paint.
End up for the, today's video, and uh, it's pretty short. Like um, this should take you through through the whole entire process on how to paint certain trims of your car. Yes, um, although spray paint is not as perfect as what airbrushing is to what people are doing with the professional side. But this is just a home thing. Um, do expect that it's not going to be perfect, regardless of how many people says like, "Oh, you're doing it wrong," and everything. It's still not going to end up perfect um, either way. Because it's, it's a spray can, so it's never going to be perfect. So, but from the looks of it, it's finally matching with the hood, except for all the scars you're seeing on, on the hood and everything. That uh, This car is very old, man. It's like this paint is like about how many years old? Shit. Uh, 14 years old now, so it kind of it's kind of reasonable to have these type of paint chips and everything like that. So, but overall, it's finally matching the hood. It's looking way better than before and it looks way more aggressive as in detail wise it looks way more aggressive and i personally like it so that's how you guys paint the front portion of this and feel free to ask me any more questions um regarding the TL, like ticket wise what you should get like any any other questions that you, uh, that you guys have hit me up on instagram or just comment down below on what you guys have all right so